come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Cast, Another weird cast, one. Cast, cast, cast. <laughs> it comes at you every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. We're a movie review podcast that you can find on iTunes, Stitcher, Podcast Addict, wherever you found us. We hope that you'll give us a review, a star rating, or subscribe. That would be even more awesome because all of that stuff makes us get found by other people who are into the same stuff that you are. And you welcome to the family. You can also yeah. reach out and contact us via Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Free Show. You can follow us on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show, Yahoo.com. Or you can follow us on Instagram, Saturday Night Freak Show, for the time of your life. These are the internet radio superstars. Holly. Michaela. Sean. You're getting way too into that. And I'm <laughs> Colin. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know how to respond to you right now. <laughs> oh, Mr. Announcer. Oh, this is the hype, This is right? Colin yeah. with K-Fish. You got to come out of the... Well, I haven't had We're waving I... to people. Hello, <laughs> Hi, everybody. Colin from K-Fish. K-Fish. My the favorite sounds of the... Super sounds of the 70s. No. The sounds of the deep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tonight we're bringing you some schlock from the year 1980. We're unleashing humanoids. From the deep. Sean, you Colin, didn't ask well, Colin. There yeah, no, Jesus. No, yeah. Anyway, there, was no, yeah, yeah. there was no end to that. He just kind of went for it. Colin, what are we watching? Uh, we're watching a movie called Humanoids from the Deep. Directed by? Barbara Peters. Who's she? Uh, I think this is maybe one of her only films that she ever did. Hmm. Uh, wow. <laughs> you think, don't say. <laughs> the uh, the more important name out say. of this is Roger Corman uh, is. produced it. Roger Corman, for those of you who don't know who he is, I mean, is, a, is a uh, film producer who's been working since the 1950s, I think, primarily in the horror and sci-fi mm-hmm. yes, indeed. genre. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It shows. Um well, he's 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 known for schlock movies, like really bad, low budget. Because I, I think the thing was in the '60s, you know, he was, uh, you know, we got a script, uh, we got a poster, and we're gonna make this movie. You gotta, you gotta well, week to make this these movie. Things, is he saying them with a big fat cigar sticking out of his mouth? Oh yeah, that's how I can only oh assume. yeah, feet up on yeah. a desk. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we got ourselves yeah. a script. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And he says yeah. something yeah. on set with a big megaphone. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. did he do the like beach? Party movies was that? Yeah, like I think so. Yeah, I think he like, did. Yeah. Or like a tag of the crab. On, I can't remember, but maybe. <laughs> yes. I know that. Yes, uh, all. <laughs> you know, he did a series of um, like he directed a series of Edgar Allan Poe adaptations that were actually like they're really good. They're considered classics. Uh, Vincent Price and Peter Lorre mm-hmm. and uh, Boris Karloff. Peter Lorre. Those type of folks were in mm-hmm. them in the '60s. But everything else that he did that he didn't direct. Right. Uh, was the, uh, hey, here's a couple of bucks and you got a week. We're using the sets that we used on this other thing. And, <laughs> you know, you're putting this together and get it out to the drive ins, you know, in a month. Yep. From now. Sure. And let's, then let's not forget he was also on screen in the Star Wars holiday special. What? Get the. Yeah. What? Yeah. He was in it. <laughs> well, he's briefly in uh, the Silence of the Lambs. He's yep. a senator that they call the release Hannibal Lecter mm-hmm. at one point. I think. He's yep. also in Scream 3. He's oh wow! Oh my God, oh, that's wow. right. I forgot about that. Yeah. He shows up moment. everywhere, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, because yeah. he's like horror royalty. Yeah, know? yeah. yeah. Um, but in the late seventies, so he was with uh, American International mm. Pictures for a while, but he split away from them. I think in the early seventies, mm-hmm. and in the late seventies, he formed his own company called New World Pictures, New mm-hmm. World. <laughs> and they made a number of. Uh, so it's basically that that era that I'm kind of interested in and have been like watching a bunch of their films recently, uh, like Battle Beyond the Stars. Piranha, obviously, I think is one of the mm-hmm. the most uh, well known of that group. Indeed, um, Star Crash. Star Crash mm-hmm. also course, came. Uh, I think that was an acquisition, though. I don't think he actually yeah, produced yeah. it. I, <laughs> but it's still uh, sold under his Roger Corman's cult uh-huh. classics, yeah, as it should be. Yeah, which are all on sale. Like right now, they're not anymore. Not I don't know, but you can get mm-hmm. them from uh, Shout Factory. Yeah, as what, you should. You know what? I just heard uh, Shout Factory actually like bought. I think all the rights they to did, them, and they're going to they? be like remaking or yeah. re- like they own all of those uh, New World yeah. era movies. That's a good acquisition. 
But you know, it's also weird. Like when I think a new world, I think of that logo, you know, with the uh, like the red bands right. that come yeah, across yeah. the screen. That was when he left. Uh, so that's the post Roger Corman era, mm-hmm. like Godzilla nineteen eighty five and Warlock. And I feel Elvira. like I see his oh, movies well. in like fifty packs at Walmart all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like those Basically. big like fifty pack box sets that are like. 20 bucks you know yeah <laughs> you know and they're like the real right. thin dvd cases and there's like four movies on each dvd oh, like i see double-sided blu-rays and dvds yeah oh, but like that's, that's how you have to buy a lot I of guess this stuff so. you know yeah because otherwise it's not gonna yeah that's why they well i mean yeah i mean you know, the you, big stuff gets pay? put on blu-ray <laughs> sure, but right. most stuff the specific doesn't. stuff and then because there was just so much of it right mm-hmm. that he would be uh, pumped out there yeah um he also, like, they made a series of remakes of Roger Corman movies for Showtime. This was in the late 90s, early 2000s, I think. Mm-hmm. But they remade, among the remakes, was, or no, it was 96, because they remade Humanoids from the Deep. Oh, they did? Yeah. In 96? Uh, maybe not. 2006? Well, I need to see this. It's, I also, yes. Because I think the remake of Piranha may have William Cat in it. Wait, are you talking about Piranha, like... Th- th- the okay, Joe there was one. Okay, I'm, but there was one like what, like maybe five, six years ago. Oh, that's Piranha 3D. That's okay, 3D. yeah. yeah. That's, yeah All Sheer was in one of them. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the Piranha yep. 3D. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But there was like a TV. It was for Showtime. So how many versions of Piranha 3D are there? Like four? Three? Um, well, there's three double well, there's D. Piranha. Two. There's Piranha 2: The Spawning, which was James, James Cameron's Cameron. first mm-hmm. movie because mm-hmm. he got his start mm-hmm. working on visual effects for like Battle Beyond the Stars and you know yeah. uh, mm-hmm. Roger Corman movies, Galaxy mm-hmm. of Terror. Yeah. Uh, then there's. Uh, Piranha the remake for TV. Then there's Piranha 3D. Mm-hmm. And then there's Piranha 3 Double, double D. D. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Seen both a, of those. Yep. I didn't know there was a Piranha for TV. I didn't know that. I know. I I, I oh. just found out about this recently. I'm like, what? You know. But apparently they just <laughs> use a lot of the footage. Like even in the yeah. Humanoids from the Deep oh, remake, no. yeah. they use a lot of footage from the original. Oh, Instead no. of going and reshooting, well, it's a Roger Corman thing. He's like, no, nah, we're not going to spend money. Is it like the underwater shot with the really green kelp and stuff? I don't know. I, I, bet, I, bet, it's that. Right now. I bet it's that. I think at the end, maybe there's a lot them running, the, the suit did. monsters running sure. around is repurposed. Oh, the, no. <laughs> that sounds like a game of death situation where like it's just so choppy is and it, horribly put together. Is it the shot together. with the fire and it's like flailing around behind the fire? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Now yeah. we got to see this. Right? Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, for, right for research, yes. Yes, yes we research need to. purposes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, look what they do with these things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know where this movie came from, the idea of it. But the, the reason I wanted to bring it to you guys tonight was because not only, I mean, you know, it's a piece of schlock, but to me, it's like this. Uh, you pronounce shit wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch. No. Um, but there's, there's, I guess I'm looking at, like, on one end of it, you have Creature from the Black Lagoon, and on the other end of it, you have the Shape of Water, and somewhere in the middle, you have humanoids around the deep. That's yeah. true. That's yeah. very, that very true. It's the best true. way to describe it, yeah, honestly. I will give you that. Yeah. Fishmen, right? Yeah. That's what we're talking I mean, about. I know no I fish dick to be seen in any of these movies, though. But this, mm. but the spectrum is 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 kind of off because I like both ends of that spectrum. It's that middle that I'm not so sure about. You know, I think I'm well, maybe, the, I'm maybe. the middle. That's where he lives, first <laughs> yeah. of all. and that's where yeah. you got room to play. That's where yeah. you do the like yeah. what? Because it's an odd spectrum. I like Creature from the Black Lagoon, and I I don't I have not seen Shape of Water, but I have a feeling I will enjoy elements of it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's a right. very well produced, nice looking movie. Yeah, it has, it's well. That's all, that's, it. <laughs> that's all I can say about it. That's all I can say about it. But it has the central concept of there's something uh, in in Creature from the Black Lagoon. Mm-hmm. There's a scene that I guess like, you know, uh, stands out from that movie. You see it, you know, referenced a bunch of times where the the woman is swimming across the surface of the right. lake. And mm-hmm. this creature is like doing this underwater ballet kind of. Mm-hmm. It's swimming alongside underneath yeah. her. Yeah. You know, and the idea, I think at the time, this is in the 50s. And you're kind of like. What's going on there? It's like King Kong, right? Or mm-hmm. something. It's the animal, the amphibian thing is attracted somehow to a, a human sure. woman, and you're just or at like her legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're like, what is the like, you know, the physiology of this, or like, where does this go? I mean, it's kind of you know, if you actually think about it, it's right. kind of like, what the fuck, you know? Yeah, what is that creature yeah. thinking? Inner species, right? Exactly, mm-hmm. right? 
And then the shape of water does this, like, takes that to uh, its. We, uh, I was like, oh, we know what they're thinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's explicit in this well, movie. But yeah. in a way where it's, like, supposed to be like, oh, it's so romantic that a woman would want to fuck a fish. And I so say, romantic. fuck you. Exactly. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> and the humanoids for the deep to me is, like, the one that goes, like, no, it's that's a horrifying right, idea. Yeah, not, exactly. <laughs> yeah. This is not cool. Yeah. yeah. I, I would just, I like to, would like to remind everyone that the best picture for this year is a movie in which a woman describes in sign language what a fish man's dick looks like. That's not that's and the best picture winner. Say what she literally sign languages what his dick looks like. Okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> listeners. Yeah, I, I'm gonna demonstrate to everyone here. I need to see this because I have not seen the movie. She goes so. We'll braille this. So time. like like it has an opening, like it opens and then it comes out. Mm-hmm. Like she like an she, uncircumcised penis? Well, it's, but it's like, like it's but it literally goes like this. It's like inside his body, and then it opens, and then his dick comes out. And this is literally a part of this movie. Like and this movie won fucking best picture. Wall? Yes, exactly. exactly. It's like a Murphy bed. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, it comes down. It's a Murphy bed. It's a Murphy bed. Yeah, it's a Murphy. It's a Murphy dick. Uh-huh. Murphy dick. Got it. Yeah. 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 All right. There yeah. Is. That's yeah. awful. That happens in a movie that won best picture. Guys, let's let's let that all sink in. Terrifying. I guess when you think about it, you're like, that is just fucking disgusting. Wait, what if it's barbed or something like? We don't right. Like a cat? Yeah. Well, oh, and like God. they make a point in the movie of talking about how he likes to live in like gross like algae water, and I'm like, Ooh. that. Oh, mm-hmm. that is a urinal. Right. Like no. they talk so about sexy. that a lot, right. and I was like, oh, that's so disgusting. No, yeah, like, that is a urinary tract infection waiting to happen. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. It doesn't matter if his dick's all up inside him; he's still living in that shit twenty four seven. And they're trying to say, well, it's not bestiality because it's got some kind of like you know better than like, human intelligence or whatever. You know, it's he's like, still a creature though. Exactly. It's a non- Non-human mm. species. It's not bestiality. It's best picture. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that should be the tagline uh, for the movie. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's some. Yeah, weird just shit. imagine the smell. Anyway. Yeah. So. Oh, the smell. Oh, oh god. Just, we'll regret oh, this god. choice. And and quicker than we, you know. Colin, no fish jokes. That's, no fish. No, yeah. No. No, no. I, I can't. I'm not drinking. I can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, may I read to you the quote unquote tagline? Let's hear it. Oh, Let's hear it. Up. Tagline Friendly. loosely. This is what we're promising from yeah, this, this movie. Paragraph. Humanoids from the deep. Humanoids Let's have it. From the deep. Yeah. Uh, they're not human, but they hunt human women. Not for killing, for mating. That is the Humanoids worst tagline. The it's the worst tagline. That's the worst. It's just a statement. It's not good. <laughs> it's a short synopsis of the movie, it's yeah. not like a teaser. Yeah. Well, but do you go like, I want to see that movie? No. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, like, we talked about it off mic, but like, the poster sells it enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the that. poster is beautiful and timeless. And, you know. Then we get monsters in the back. Yeah. It's got these menacing eyes over this woman laid menacing out on the beach. Eyes just, that don't uh, appear in the movie. Just at off all. the cuff. Anyone have a better tagline? Just right now, off the cuff. Mm-hmm. Anyone? Anyone? Mm, let's see. Mm. They're. Gross, and they want to fuck. I don't yeah, there, I don't there, know. there you but go. That's even yeah. more obvious than what's yeah. there, right? But, if, but I, that tagline gets my attention. Yeah, they're gross well, and yeah. want to fuck. They're gro- oh, uh-huh. they're gross. tell me more. They're gross. They're horny, and they're coming for your women. I, I feel like there's like that's that. That's basically what but it is. But Sean so says it better. Like it's it's the, the you got to make it compact. Like we got to make this snappy. You yeah. got to go. I feel yeah. like there's periods and a tagline. I feel like there's like some sort of thing you could work with as far as like. It's mating season kind of like thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, there's some mating season pun you could sure, make that would work yeah, better. No, you like know, that. like I like that. Yeah. I like I liked Michaela's analogy. You guys, um, listeners, you weren't here for this, but while we were watching it, Michaela compared these these creatures to like turtles coming ashore to lay their eggs. Yeah, no, that's, that is what happens. Like you know, how turtles my like favorite analogy. Not as cute. <laughs> no, definitely not no. as cute. You know how like tourist beaches like turtles come ashore and no one can go yeah. on the beach because they're laying like a fuck ton of eggs yeah. and they go out and they that's like. Basically, this that's movie. That's the plot of Planet yeah. 2 that's funny. <laughs> Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Jesus. Except they fly, so... Yeah, okay. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> wow. The right. flying, yeah. flying killers. Jesus. No, thanks. But there's uh, got to be some tagline of, like, it's mating season, and, yes, like, women yes. are in season, and then human something. women are in season, or something, you know, something. like... It feels like I've seen that tagline on something. So that's why they couldn't probably, use it on this probably, one. But the, probably, but this is the 70s. This may have been before whatever you're thinking, you know? Mm. Like... Yeah. Oh, there's another one that I like that poster are, I, uh, is iconic. I love that. But the, great. It, it I always picture, keep yeah. like right next to that in my mind is Blood Beach. You ever seen that where there's a woman in a bikini like buried up to her uh, waist, mm. like reaching out of the sand, like something under the sand right. has got her. Blood Beach. I've never seen it. No, no. What, what's under the sand? No. I got to find out. I'm yeah. intrigued by that art. 
Yeah. It's probably oh, yeah. the sand sharks that are in the sci-fi movie Sand Sharks. Could be. Could be. Yeah. Could be. Um, okay, so I mean, maybe we should set this movie. Well, I guess we already said it. it's uh, basically about uh, you know the idea is going to be that there's fishmen mm-hmm. and they mate with uh, women, mm-hmm. but the first half of the movie is a setting up the drama, the dramatic dynamics of these characters, you know, and, and what's actually happening. And it seems to follow a template that I don't know when the last time I saw it, maybe like Slither or before that Piranha, but you have um, a small community, right? That, uh, you know, they're very salt of the earth people. Mm -hmm. And there is some corporate interest moving into this town that's disrupting their way of life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Uh, Somebody's coming in to, I mean, in this movie, they're opening a cannery, right? From Canco. Or there's a military (laughs) installation upstream that's been experimenting and, you know, Mm -hmm. somehow the stuff gets loose. Or, you know, there's some kind of ecological. um, Upset. Upset, right? We've been experimenting on these animals and dumping them in the sewer, and then something eats them, and then, you know, you get these mutant things. Sure. And they all kind of, uh, you know, so you have, and then the other, the other part that bookends this is the festival or some kind of like the park opening or yes. the, uh, some kind There's of, some know, events they're some working towards. Event yeah. There's right. all the people yeah. there that yeah. is where you have the then disrupted. Yeah. 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 <laughs> disrupted by like everyone's having a good time, and then shit just starts going wrong. All right, so into this uh, situation, I guess we should set the up. The situation we call a movie. Yep. <laughs> we should set up who these uh, folks are who are in the movie. Uh, so there's a... Uh, That's going like a hard a, one. Well, uh, in this town, right? So there's like a, a dynamic that forms between like four main characters. Are there more than four main characters? I don't know. We could probably I... whittle it down to four. <laughs> so there's, yeah, We got Jimbo. Great. The great Doug McClure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is he great? Uh, he was immortalized forever on the fucking Simpsons or something, right? No, oh. is, is it? Oh, that's Troy McClure. Troy McClure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 See, Michaela's making jokes about it, yeah. and then it leaks he into has. your subconscious yeah. about the whole damn movie. Yeah, I know there's somebody, Troy yeah. McClure here. Yeah, anybody yeah. named McClure, yeah. it all it always comes up Troy McClure. Yeah. 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 Doug McClure of yes. the gigantic, poofy uh, blue vest. Of right? course. Yes. This movie. yes, you do. I think if you just live in certain areas in It's the mandatory, country, right? Yeah, pretty, pretty much. You're born with a vest. Yeah. Well, and what's flannel. his job? And flannel. He's a, He's a fisherman. 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 <laughs> yep. A whaling fisherman. No, there's no whaling anymore. You can't whale, Colin. <laughs> whaling? Are you Herman Melville? There's well, no whaling anymore. <laughs> only because he has a lot of the whale-centric... <laughs> Art. Core. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you know they're in the Pacific Northwest. I'm sorry, is everyone do you is want whale art. Dragons, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> you have fucking dragon shit upstairs. I used to, Sean. No, I, in my younger well, days. There now is, it's very Colin tiring. has been around longer than most of us, yeah. so yeah. we have no idea. That's called an acid <laughs> trip. Yeah. <laughs> there is wall to wall whale art, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a Colin glorious orca sculpture on their living there room is. wall. Yeah. Yeah, because I guess that's why if it's part of your life so much, right? But they have like a salmon fest is the big festival at the end of the movie. How come there's not all over the place? Not I'm sure there is. I just the don't think we see it. I mean, you know, an orca is far more attractive than just yeah. a fucking salmon. Much more majestic. Mm-hmm. Yes. Salmon yeah. are not majestic. Yeah. No, they're not. No. I don't know if you know this. Well, no. I, like I mean, we don't have chickens hanging on our, you know, yeah, our wall true. in our yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. You know? Basically, it is <laughs> chicken, of chicken of the sea, you know? The sea, yeah. <laughs> it's not quite tuna, it but, you know. Tuna. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, Although Colin does have a fishing net in his bathroom. That's very true. Uh, you gotta go, when you start the nautical uh, theme, you gotta carry it the whole way. You get a couple yeah, of yeah. seashells, next thing you know, you've got fishing There's nets. fucking nets and shrimp. <laughs> yep, and pictures of lighthouses everywhere. Yes. That's how it goes. Um, but yeah, I mean, I did like the fact that, you know, the, the town being oriented around uh, the salmon fishing, that uh, people come from 200 miles. To attend their little uh, carnival strip, very popular that they do every year. Two hundred miles. Festival. Find that hard to believe. Wait, wait, very they, were, hard wait to they were they were salmon fishing. Yeah. yeah, weren't they in the ocean? Isn't salmon in the river? It, they were. Were they? In the you ocean? know what? <laughs> Nothing might be made right clear. about that. At this point, <laughs> yeah, I don't think we or anybody is. Well, uh, they were want to be. De- they were want to be deadliest catch. You know, they yeah. wanted to be fucking deadliest catch boats, boats. But yeah. Because there's something that we can tie in here, but I don't want to. We got to talk about another character first before we get there. Well, that's what we're doing. We got to figure out. So we got Jim. Okay, we got Jim. 
Uh, and then the the central conflict dynamic, because Jim is kind of like uh, neutral, right, on the proposed idea of bringing this cannery. Well, he's for the cannery. To well, he's, he's for it. Yeah. yeah, he even tells that to mm-hmm. one of the other characters later on. He's like, I'm for yeah. it, but he doesn't, but he's not with the uh, Slattery, is, another, is the other character, the Vic Morrow. Um, he's not necessarily with those guys. And they mm-hmm. say later, he's like, he doesn't even like them, but he's for the cannery because it, apparently it'll help the town. Mm-hmm. But Vic Morrow's car- slattery is like uh, the kingpin kind of. Well, not the. What the, see, the I said yeah. that before. That's not right. No, it's like he's got he's got people behind him. But he's still like we said a working man. Mm-hmm. He's still a man of certain people. But he, has, but he wears he, the he denim. Has, but for some reason, he holds a lot of clout in the town. We don't yeah. really know why. He's probably but... a businessman of some sort. He probably had a hand in getting the cannery into town. That's guessing, what it feels like. So he can make money off of it. Because there's a scene where they have like a welcome party. Party for the uh, the cannery brass, right? Where they yeah, introduce everybody, they while Joe Williams and the Funky Boys are playing the White Water Band. White Water yeah. okay. Boys. Boys. Yeah. Boys. Boys. Joe Williams and the White Water Boys <laughs> are playing some oh, of that like boot stomping music at the yeah. Uh, it's not really boot stomping. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, it didn't seem as There's high. a fiddle, maybe. No, there was there a fiddle. It was a banjo. Banjo. There's a banjo and a, a piano. piano. Stand up bass, it's a, probably drums. It's like riverboat music. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're like in straight up Easter colors, like head to toe. Oh, it's yeah. pretty crazy. They're, yeah, yeah, like those fucking straw hats. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah. green, yellow mm-hmm. vests and yeah, undershirts. It's weird. Yeah. It's this great. is 1980. You're telling me that they there was no rock and roll at that point. It's still like, yep, come out to the town. Not in this town. Right? No, this, no, no. This rock and roll didn't town. make it in towns like this yeah. for until yeah. 1990. This is, this is the town from Footloose. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, there was people keeping it out of this town. No, yo. Noyo, California. Noyo. Uh, but in that scene, he, uh, you know, and the guy, the, the the CEO or whatever of the cannery announces, like, yeah, we're going to bring a bunch of jobs to this town. Huh? And everybody starts applauding, or he starts applauding and, like, looks around at his guys, mm-hmm. and just the look that he gives them forces them to, like, oh, shit, yeah, I oh, got to yeah, applaud, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, this is that. something. It's like, yep, boys, we're on board with this. Uh, but he is uh, uh, diametrically opposed by... Jim? Johnny Johnny Eagle. Eagle? Yeah, Johnny Eagle. Johnny Eagle. A Native God. American Native fellow American. who uh he basically is representing the um Ecological concern here, right? By bringing this cannery in, you're disrupting uh it's, it's the not small the town ecological life concern. It's the economic I mean, late, well that or maybe more so that it's his the the land and later on he sues yeah. because it's his land that's been taken away technically as Native American. Land. So it's more that he has no say in it than anything. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. it is a, an ecological thing. Are you going to destroy it by putting in this you know cannery well, and all yeah, the byproducts that. and waste that the, well, comes yeah, out of it? And because he says later he wants to save this land for his people. So right. Yeah, it is yeah. ecological mm-hmm. at that point. Yeah. So those two are like you know. Uh, Oh, well, I don't know. I wouldn't say that they both hate each other. It's more like Slattery is a racist son of a bitch and hates the Indian guy just for yes. being basically you know, on, yeah. you know. just for existing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. As it's as, as, as a racist as, would. I was going to get yeah. real and be like, as most people do today. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, Jesus. Yeah. All right. Well, too real. Yeah. <laughs> Which leads to a series Keep of light, confrontations. Yep. <laughs> but that includes like, because uh, dogs end up dead. Obviously, we oh, suspect yeah. the, the first act. Of the oh, deep. my God. The first the, act okay, of terrorism okay. of these monsters. The, the first act of this movie is this two mass do- dog wait, genocide. It, the first act of this movie <laughs> is two dogs. What? Um, oh, God. What was that movie we did? Uh, Sleepwalkers is to cats. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. yeah. Like, this is the dog equivalent of Sleepwalkers, the first act of this movie. <laughs> so yeah, many dead Especially because there's one survivor, and then he. Nope. Uh, nope. That dog just lives a yeah, few days longer, yeah, and yeah. then mm. he gets murdered, too. That's very sad. Mm, yeah. yeah. And there's what, five or six dogs that get murdered, right? I would say so, yeah. At least. Because I think the idea is the the all the dogs that are owned by the fishermen uh, somehow turn up dead, except for Johnny Eagles. And right. so that's Husky, yeah. yeah. Slattery is like, what? Everybody's dog's dead except for Johnny Eagles. You know, there's something funny going on Indian. here, boys. Yep. Mm-hmm. So they kill that dog, blame it on whatever's killing you know, the rest mm-hmm. of them. Sure. And then that leads to a gigantic, like, well, I was going to say bar fight, but a throwdown outside. A hate the throwdown. crime. It's a hate crime, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I have questions about well, that dead it husky. It starts off as a hate crime, but it evolves into I, one of those like I'm disturbed brawl. by the dead true. husky on many levels. I'm also disturbed by the dead husky. Yeah, because like, how did they do that? Real... It looked like a real dead dog. Like it looked dead like dead a real dead dog. Because like the way it slumped it. over when they put it on the ground and then when they picked it up, I was like, yeah, that's not a... that feels like a real dead dog. I'm pretty sure... knock him out, right? Which I'm hoping is what they did. I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping. that was definitely a real dog at some point. Yeah. Yeah. The way it just like its neck hung over when the guy was carrying it, I was yeah, like, "That right. dog is either dead or unconscious." It's a real dog. Like, created uh, a, a dummy or something, right? Because yeah. something it always feels because, like some appendage yeah. is larger than the rest. Well, in of the some body. of in some of the and the weight isn't right usually, yeah, it's you know. Right. And I mean the the fake dogs that they had were obviously fake. They looked so they were fake. obviously yeah. fake. Right. This yeah. one they like got that cartoon. Yeah, it's a real dog. dog. Yeah. It's a real dog. We assume. I mean, I'm assuming Rob Bottine because right, Rob Bottine did the makeup effects on this movie. He, who's Rob Bottin? Rob Bottin is a very famous uh, uh, effects worker. He did uh, uh, movies like The Thing. Uh, all, a lot of dog work in that movie. Yeah. If you have mm-hmm. not seen and that. some of it looks similar to, to it that. It does. Because yeah. when they yeah. first show that first pile of dog, I'm going to say, yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, that looks very thingish. Right the there. eyes and like the facial features. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's the did. eyes and the, the mm-hmm. fangs. Yeah, he did the, the howling uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, I was going to say he did The Grinch, but that was Rick Baker, right? Like, I mean, he continued working through, like, he did Seven and I think Fight Club and stuff like that. And I think he mm-hmm. retired, done but tons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did a lot of stuff. Um, but, uh, um, oh, fuck, I, forgot, I forgot where I was going. With this. Yeah, uh, dog genocide. Dog we genocide around, leads yeah. to yeah. brawl outside of the uh, you know. Right, and then the then but was uh, what was interesting about that is uh, all the lead actors after that big fight. Uh, all have like black eyes and mm-hmm. you know scratch you know like yeah. they all they look of them pretty real legit, actually yeah. for the rest of yeah. the movie they're yeah. all fucked up because of this fight which I thought was kind of funny which like, well I think the movie only takes place over like two days so right yeah. but like yeah. okay considering how bad the editing is in this movie I don't expect the um, continuity to, to be good so yeah. like the fact that the black eye makeup was the continuity was that good maybe so you think yeah. it wasn't makeup you know what I'm saying like with the editing in this movie I don't know. It's, it's terrible. Horrible. I don't know. It's absolutely horrible. Who I don't did, know who if they, did the editing. Uh, Mark Goldblatt, which I, I later discovered is a he's a fuck. He what, what did you, he won an Oscar? I think. Are for you serious? Editing? He has edited everything you've ever seen. Basically, yeah. he won he did a, so, the Termin- Terminator Two, right? Did he did Terminator One. I th- uh, I know he did Terminator Two. I don't know if he did Terminator One. All he I did know Showgirls. He went and edited oh, well, every yeah, single anything. goddamn movie in the history of cinema. Yeah, and he was yeah. a director too. He did well, and yeah. director, and he directed Dead Heat. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. our favorite movie ever. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to hit you with some hard but facts how, here. How he went from this shitty movie, oh which God. I gotta imagine they didn't shoot a lot of coverage, is why he's trying to cover up the the bad shit. In this it movie. has to be it, right? It's got to be. I, I, I know you can be a bad editor, but you can't be this bad an editor unless you have nothing to work with. Well, especially because this was his third movie he ever edited. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not his first. Piranha yeah. was his first. Okay. Um, and then uh, it was Spirit of the Wind, and then this, and then The Howling. Then Halloween mm-hmm. 2. Mm-hmm. Oh, right, oh! yeah. It was him and Skip Schoolnick yep. co-edited. Mm-hmm. Why do I know that? Yep. I mean, you should know that. You know, uh, yeah. I, haven't gone through, <laughs> I haven't gone through my editors of Halloween movies yet. I'll tell you that. Or just you memorize the credits of these movies. Yeah, yeah. It's very yeah. true. The Terminator, Rambo, First Blood Part Two, Commando, wow. Predator Two. Lots of freak show yeah. movies on this list. Yeah. Nightbreed, uh, Terminator Two, True Lies, Showgirls, Starship Troopers, Armageddon, so Hollow Man, one of my least favorite movies of all time. Yeah. Uh, so Pearl Harbor, Entry. Bad Boys 2, uh, Pearl Harbor. Exorcist the Beginning, Triple X State of the Union, X Men Last Stand. Fuck you for that so movie. He's yeah. learned a lot. The Wolfman, sure. 2010. Well, well, yeah. Yeah. well, he was the first, the first editor. Then it was uh, Walter Mertz. Yeah, he's un- yeah. he's un- yeah. Un- yeah. uncredited, oh, yeah. uh, but, but it's I mean, on his credits. But this, he's done some <laughs> shit. He yeah. also directed the uh, Punisher movie, yep. which made oh, its way shoot. to this yeah. uh, show. The, yeah, the Thomas Jane one. Yeah. No, the yeah. No, 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 no. The Dolph Lundgren one. Okay. I mean, I do love Dolph. But you're saying there's like and there chappy. is a, a, a choppiness to the editing in this movie yeah. where it really does feel like either a he's inexperienced which I guess he's saying it's the second movie third third movie and they are doing it like this is a different type of editing back in the day they're editing film at this point so yeah that's, I mean I can you gotta mm. give something up for that mm. Yeah, I don't no, think that no. he did a no, lot of film editing. Clearly, it's like, either they didn't have the the material. I don't think they had the material. Which That's is my personal. Yeah, I, I think, but I think maybe that goes to the director. I don't know oh, if yeah. Barbara Peters had a lot of experience. You mm-hmm. know, and she may have been again throwing this out. 
may have been like a film school graduate had done some work for Corman who he's like, sure. mm-hmm. you know, you're the best person for this, you know, right now that we Odds have. Odds are. <clears throat> right. But and then, it, you know, it's the fact that she hasn't done anything again. I have some trivia for you. Oh, oh of course. And it goes into right talking us. about the editing. So um, <clears throat> the uh, we haven't actually talked about what the movie is actually about. I don't think this time <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll get. There. So it's the movie fine. was filmed under the title uh, Beyond the Darkness or Beneath the Darkness. There's so many beneath. titles for this movie. Yeah. And t- mon- the- Monster. Monster? And that's what it was released okay. as overseas. So okay. it was it was filmed on, or they basically put the script out. It was called Beneath the Darkness in order to, they thought that that was, it was, it was always going to be called Humanoids from the Deep. Mm-hmm. But they figured the title Beyond, Beneath the Darkness was a little more like upscale and would attract uh, bigger talent to it. Mm-hmm. Like the, the Doug that, McClure's yeah. of the world. <laughs> sure. And the Vic sure. Morrow's of the, right. And the Rip uh, Browns of the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they filmed it under that with Barbara Peters as a director. And uh, Corman said in an interview that like his directive was this movie is about like it's about fishmen who they kill the men and they rape the women that full stop. And so Barbara Peters went out and made this movie that was about killing the men and uh, raping the women off screen. And so Corman was like. Okay, you got part of the the exploitation the equation, yeah. equation, but not the other. So he brought in another director, a guy named Jimmy Murkowski. That Murkow- sounds like a fake name. That, yeah. I'm wrong. Murtow. Oh, he's a Japanese it's, American guy. It sounds like an Alan Smithy situation. It's not Murkowski. It's something else. I'm sorry. Murakami. There we go. Got it. And <laughs> <Way> uh, <different laughs> right, not Polish. No, Japanese American. Japanese. <laughs> and. Uh, I just what did I How just dare say? you insult my people? Uh, Mark, 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 uh, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, you also heard once, directed. Which is also uh, not his name. Uh, right, yeah. No, he's Amer- he was born in America. Oh, okay. Uh, Murakawi. Mur- Murakawa? Murakawa? God, God damn Murakawa. it. Jimmy. Stick Without with Jimmy. 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 <laughs> also directed Battle Beyond the Stars for Corman the same year. So uh, he was brought in to do the, uh, to punch up the uh, exploitation, basically all the nudity and uh, gore. So uh, more nudity uh, and gore. More nudity so that's why gore. everybody loses their top when they're getting attacked by right. a monster. And that's why in some cases you're like, what movie am I watching here? Because mm-hmm. it is basically two movies being edited together, probably it by Mark Goldblatt. Like yeah. And that's why you have that choppy kind of, he's trying to say, Save a, or save. He's trying to alter a movie that uh-huh. wasn't intended to be, you know, uh, with this shape to it. Okay. And it's interesting that this guy, uh, Murakawa, was Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy. Uh, he's an animator. Worked on heavy metal. Did the opening uh, soft landing segment of heavy metal. Like that's what he's primarily primarily known for. He's huh. an animator. Primordially known. Yep. Primordial. Primordially. <laughs> primordially known as an animator. All right. So really quickly, before we tell you what this movie is about, and I forgive <laughs> me if we already like, have. Oh, Jesus, uh, we're only like 40 minutes in. <laughs> yeah. um, but there's one more character that we have to talk about because she leads into uh, what the movie's actually about. Yes. So the cannery has employed a uh, geneticist. You're being very generous. Scientist. But sure. I don't know. A they, they were just scientists this time. Scientist. Yeah. Named. That's a good question. D- Carol Channing. Sure. Uh, Carol Channing. Carol Channing, really. Dr. Carol Marcus. No, I don't know. I can't remember her name. I don't know. (laughs) We'll we'll just call her woman scientist. (laughs) Female scientist. And now, now don't get on us for labeling her that because that's all this movie did for her. Oh. Gave her a name. If if, Uh, did it. Did they? I don't ever remember hearing her name. Ever. Yeah, they said it several times. I'm sure they just don't remember it because they say I remember them because the characters are so flat. Yeah, right. This is Doctor So and So. I'll look it up real yeah, quick. I'll look it up I'll so look we it up. can just get it right. Yeah. yeah. Again, don't but, blame us. Blame the movie. So here's and her, also her short friend. And her short friend who also works at the cannery. Right. Or, the, or well, in the, the lab. Yeah. The, the lab. lab. Because that's the thing. It's not just a cannery. They are doing gene splicing or something. Dr. On, Dr. Susan Drake. Susan Drake. Susan Drake. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yep. Drake. Dr. Yep. Drake. Okay, Susan we got it. Guys, we know our name now. What's the short guy's name? Oh, <laughs> we don't need. Stop, stop <laughs> asking me more than one thing. Uh, oh, oh, the guy I described as old TJ Miller? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that guy. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, let's see. Drake. Miller. Yes, yes. So she has been uh, trying to, the idea being that. Was that the guy played to... by Hoke Howell? Is that Hoke? Hoke Howell? Is that Hoke. the guy? I'll, let's say it is. Deke Jensen? 
Oh, I don't know. These are great. <laughs> these names, these names sound fake, and that's why we can't All remember the names them. Sound fake. Yeah, They're wonderful. They're great old Hope time Howell. Hollywood names. Nobody names their kids these things anymore. I know. They probably yeah. didn't name them that the first time. Oh no, no, them. no way they did. Yeah. Hoke. But uh, so what's she up to? That's the question She's for trying, the table. I, they, I think they said when they introduced her at the like the the festival the first time she's she's figured out a way to uh, make the uh, the salmon fishing around here more plentiful. Basically, she's doing like gene splicing to uh, um, to create a better yeah. version of salmon, like to create more salmon that they can just create them out of she's a lab. Gen- rather genetically than, modifying yeah, salmon. Basically, salmon yeah. basically. So it's easier to yeah. produce them in a, in a place where it feels like, uh, according to the fishermen around the town, that salmon is, it's like coming up dry at this point. Mm-hmm. So they want to, which is why they're deciding to build a cannery here. I don't know. But so that they can create more salmon to, you know, more business and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But this goes back to your idea. Like, I mean, again, you know, you're probably going to tell us, listener, if salmon are more plentiful in the sea or the river. You know, yeah, we're, please we're, let us know. We, we, don't, we don't fucking know. Yeah. We're, we have, <laughs> oh, we have any fishermen out we there. Have, yeah. We know time corn. to shine. Yeah. Corn and cheese. Yeah, you want to talk about got. corn and cheese? We got you. <laughs> Pigs you know? and, and yeah. cows. Yeah, corn, cheese, pigs. I'm pretty yeah. sure. All that I'm stuff. pretty sure salmon are in the river, man. All the shit you can uh, that will kill you quick. We got it here. Yeah. Okay, but here's the thing, right? Because there's an accident that has happened before the movie starts, where a batch of this genetically altered salmon gets loose and the kind of whatever having DNA five and yeah DNA gets five, loose yes. down the uh, the river into the ocean possibly mm-hmm. where it is eaten by these fish that mutate into humanoids from the deep. Sure. Salmon. All right. We should talk about how, like, this movie checks off all of the, um, the, like, tropes of a horror movie within, like, the first act. Yeah. Like, like I wrote them down. We got the dog murdered. Like, how can we, how can we scare these people? Well, let's go down the checklist. Yeah. I guess so. It yeah. felt like the Friday the 13th checklist, because that's yeah. what it felt like when I was started mm-hmm. watching this movie. Like, this feels very familiar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, no, it's of the, what year was this? It was the same year as Friday the 13th. It was 1980. The first one? Yeah. No, shit. Both released yeah. the same it has Probably same, both I mean, shot the same. You probably, know. yeah. All the actors in this movie looked like they didn't get the role in Friday the 13th and got sent to this movie yeah. instead. You know? It's true. It's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They do have that fashion sense, that keen fashion sense of, of, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very keen. of the 1980s. That puffy vest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I so love it. Can we bring back Keen? We've got the dog murdered and someone in the family calling the dog and he never comes. We've yep. got that scene. We've got the cat jump scare. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. We've got the phone call jump scare. Yep. yep. Uh, and then we've got the boyfriend jump scare. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. All, all within the first act. Yeah. Check them all off. Yeah. yeah most Bravo. of these are in one scene. Yeah. One scene. Yeah. I love the economy of that, yeah. though, right? So it's like, we're going to knock <laughs> yeah. them right out, yeah. get people to jump, like, woo, before our humanoids from the deep actually show up. What do these creatures look like? They got like, like, uh, like textured brains. brains. Yeah, yeah, they like you can like see their brain. Like I don't know, their head mm-hmm. looks like an exposed brain. Yeah, they look like <sighs> one of them's got long arms. They look like, and this is gonna be a maybe a deep cut, but from like Resident Evil, mm-hmm. and it's not the liquors, but there's a, another animal called the hunter. In those where it's kind of more a green sea creature type thing, where it's just a short, stocky one. It's got sharp claws, but it's got that fucking look to it. Nobody here. The liquor know. has like exposed liquor, brains. Liquor's got the expo- it's like a combination yeah. of the two. The liquor's got the exposed brain, but they're all like red and veiny, and they look like uh, a human without skin on. Basically, yeah. mm-hmm. the hunter is more green, like comes from the water and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Well, these guys, I know none they're, of you they're like green. That. They're covered in kelp and seaweed. Basically, yeah. yes. I mean, it, did you did you think it was a good design? Uh, bad design. Where'd you where'd, where'd you come it down? Was on good that? until it you was, got to the giant design. brain looking head. That kind of mm. made it more comedic than it should have been. I thought it felt fine. It didn't feel like in a movie like this. I don't know. It felt like uh, I like when the design is kind of like oh that's the design and everything kind of everything on the creature kind of does something or it, there's there's something to it where it, it kind of involves it in the story. Mm-hmm. Nothing in that design really does anything because you don't... You see him biting a few people, I guess, but it's mostly like the sharp claws, clawing at people and all that stuff. Yeah. Their teeth so, seem kind of short and like nubby, you know, almost. Yeah, you know? it's just like I don't know what the whole body's doing. Like, what is the purpose of... The very long, un- the unarticulated really long arms. arms. Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't Especially know. What, I, 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 mean, I like really the, There's only one with the long arms, and I kind of like it, but I don't know what the purpose of the design. Was there? I thought does. they all had the long arms. No, yeah, because some mm-hmm. of them. Had there was the one that had really long. One arms. One had the yeah. really long arms, and yeah. the rest were like the short, like doing yeah. that whole like I'm in a costume. Yeah, I'm yeah. a guy in a suit. Yeah. And I'm coming to scare you. But I like to like when they, you know, when they actually show the, you know, it takes a while, I guess, before the movie shows you, gives you a good look at the like the whole thing. Yeah. 
but toward the end, I mean, they're front and center, you know, and it's like, I mean, I never really saw a zipper, which no. is always that's true. It's a good point. Yeah. You have yeah. to look for, yeah. in this and no weird, movie. no weird like costume movements. You know how like. Um, no, oh, here we go. Okay, so like you know how like if you guys are familiar with like any Bigfoot research, the Patterson Gimlin footage, which is like uh, the famous yeah, Bigfoot footage, sure, like, sure. they talk about how like it cannot be a costume because the way like the muscle moves under the skin, it's so, like it has to be how real. How can you tell from that footage? Uh, because it's been stabilized and edited over time. Oh, it, you you can find re- you can find this shit. That's on a, yeah, that's but, a but you know it's a whole that's, it's a whole sideshow podcast. You know, worms, yeah. um, but like which I'm all for getting into. I felt like <laughs> I mean I'm not saying that this movie had muscle movement but like it looked natural enough to not look like a costume I guess I would yeah, say I didn't you know see anything that would like that, that thing could have come out of the fucking water it was pretty yeah. seamless yeah it's it was pretty seamless because I mean, yeah. they give nice close up shots of it you know yeah. even when it's dead you know they're rolling them out like look we found one of these things yeah. look at this mm-hmm. horrible beast you know where I was I was kind of impressed that it's not like the most awesome design, maybe no. like the one that she drew on the sheet. Was cool. yeah. I'm like, that's a cool looking. <laughs> that's like one of the the uh, old ones, the yeah. crafty and things, yeah. right? Uh, but what we got was kind of like, well, if you're gonna sculpt something and give yeah. it a bigger brain, you know, a head. But I guess I wasn't. It's like it's kind of I don't know. It's it's slightly above the passing grade. You know, it's not awesome like mm-hmm. Ro- no. Botine gets to when he gets to like the thing, right? Or mm-hmm. some or the howling. But it's not like bad. No, yeah. where you're like, no, nah, it's taking me out of the movie. No, you know? I wouldn't. I say feel that. like the problem is more in its like function. Like it's so slow moving and yeah. like hunched over all the time yeah. that it's yeah. like the problem is more in how it moves it's than how it's designed. Clearly, a guy in a suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and it yeah. makes really loud noises. Yeah, <laughs> like, it does. Yep. It reminded me and. Uh, it reminded me of it, but I don't remember what they sounded like the from uh, the green slime. Green slime, yeah. Oh no, 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 no. no, no. But that well, that's what I, it, it, <laughs> oh, it's, it's in, in its loudness, sound. yeah. Right. And, yeah. It's, and I think in its loudness yeah. is the only thing it reminded me of because I know the green slime I monster the same was thing. A, something like completely me, 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 different, me, 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 yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah. Just yeah. in its loudness and its constantness. Mm-hmm. Because if you want to sneak up on people, why the fuck are you making so much noise? You know, yeah, like that's yeah. the, it, no. because these monsters snuck up on people so much. I didn't understand how. Yeah, it was yeah. it was as um, loud as they were. It wasn't the creature design; it was the people's reaction to the creature is what distracted me. Mm. I think so There's, not the yeah. uh, creeped out enough. Like oh, sea like, monsters. Like they the, were very blase. Yeah, very, yeah. Like when they like on the beach when the doctor and uh, what Jim is anything I don't know when they finally found him and they're like shooting him they were so casual about they, it yeah that's the thing they're when they so first casual discovered, about like, this it is like, oh god the sea monsters are back again like they're very casual about yeah. this thing that no one has ever seen mm-hmm. in their lives yeah and they shoot him and, and they're just like oh my god saying, oh, like it's, it looks like it's something or other I'm just yeah. like why why are you not freaking they're out so right now they're so chill I'm like that's a fucking sea monster <laughs> yeah. are you insane <laughs> they're very chill well, that's kind of, they're right. at that point where it's like fuck these things are everywhere we just kill them and we're good at like you know we're they're uh you know out there need, on their own with the i need more panic i think I'm, i agree i need yeah. more like whoa and that's the car and it happened again at the carnival you know people were not moving out of their way they're just like cr- like yeah, that place should have been cleared out in like two i'm minutes. like dude you fucking run to your car like mm. they're just that's they're the thing slow. like when they see that these creatures instead of running from them they just like cower and hide mm-hmm. and like cower but still within yeah. eyesight so it's like yeah none of these people are fast yeah I'd be so gone yeah so yeah so quickly a slight jog and you would be fine exactly you know? like that's, that's what, what I want what I want that guy just going yeah getting away from <laughs> these yeah. monsters yeah. I'm doing well that's what I need the only way to combat this is if you don't make them so fucking loud and they actually sneak up mm-hmm. on people well they they do at some or point. faster. Well, I yeah, guess, come through yes. the boardwalk is pretty great, though. That, that was great. That was like, great, I'm yeah. they're all coming up good. through the boardwalk, and that's why they're trapping people, so right. they can't just run away, because, like, they're but in front of they're them. They're coming through a dock get, in the boardwalk. I was like, everyone, I get that. Everyone else for a mile on either side yeah. is free to get away. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get I, I didn't get enough of a feeling of being trapped. Mm. Yes. That's the thing. Yeah. That's the thing, because, like, they come up on the boardwalk when, like, everyone's just kind of, like, walking around, hanging out, yeah. and those people all stare, and they're like, oh, shit, and then, yeah. like, that's it. Like, yeah. they, like, it would have been way more badass <laughs> if, as people were running down the boardwalk, they were popping up, like, exactly. fucking wackle, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, well, exactly. Yeah, and I've seen enough viral videos of things popping out, and people just fucking running away yes. and not dealing with it, <laughs> yes. to know that the Boom, human shit. reaction is to be like, nope, Fuck this. done, yeah, yeah. gone, yeah. and Fight running flight, away. Man. Yeah. Fight or flight, yeah. Done. Yeah. Nobody wants to stick around and deal with that shit. No. Let me, true question for, unless you look this up Probably. how many well how many humanoids do you figure that you see in the course of this movie mm, like eight 
I would. That sounds no, like a good. Over number. the entire course of the movie, there's yeah. like eight. Yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. there's more than that because they blow more than that away. I think we're supposed to get the idea that there's like there's a bunch, there's like dozens of them. It's hard to tell because they all 20. look the same. Yeah. If, if I would say twenty. Okay, how many suits do they have? I'm gonna guess five. four. I'm they gonna had guess five, three. I was gonna say what? three, but only That's one of them good. was good enough for like one of them was articulate enough. And the other ones were like background. Well, there's that really bad one where like it comes up and creeps in that picture window. Yeah. Where it looks like a. That's the that bad one's one. yeah. bad. Because it, it <laughs> looks really like bad. a straight up ghillie suit. Yeah. You know, like the yeah. ghillie yeah. camouflage. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of ghillie yeah. suit pieces in yeah. this movie. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. that one, like, they cut to it so quickly and then cut away that they think you won't notice. But like, yeah. Yeah. It, 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 you notice. <laughs> it looks what? like a straight up ghillie suit. The one with suit. the big long arms is probably not supposed to be, like, you're not supposed to look at that one for too long. Because I mean, it's got extensions, right? Yeah. I got extensions on under mm. there. Well, then they did uh, a lot of work with those three suits. Or yeah. Those two suits. They yeah. Did. One of them they was did. a long arm one. Then they shot the shit yeah. out of those suits. Especially because yeah. that Cause one gets like everywhere. stabbed to hell. Like that mm-hmm. one gets cut open a whole bunch. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they shot them everywhere. Mm-hmm. If, that's, yeah. if they were so limited on that, holy shit! God, that's you know they were work. telling the actors like, "Sorry, you fuck this rip, shit up. I will, yeah, you are fired. Away. Yeah. yeah, don't dig your fingers in. <laughs> don't do anything. This is we have limited availability of these suits. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. there's several like uh, Arduous. attacks of these creatures on people, uh, bathers and swimmers and bathers. That's maybe not a good. I mean, they're bathers at this in, point. In, in the Sunbathing. People sure. sunbathing, <laughs> people camping with the. Uh, oh you know, my god! The way <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! We have to talk oh my oh, god. About this. See, so much oh, stuff happens this movie. We forgot about the ventriloquist. Oh dummy. my Wonderful. god! I didn't know this was such a thing. Women, please. Uh, 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 no, Holly, no. Please tell me if this is a thing. This I will is pursue, not. I will pursue a this if thing. it is. This is not a thing. It's creepy Colin, as shit. Can I borrow your uh, <laughs> no. ventriloquist dummy? I, if we I need to. Yep. I, uh, I'm not going to lie, if that happened to me, I would fear for my safety. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, that I would, is a fucking fight or flight situation. Yeah. You get the fuck out of I would it. say, I would be like, like, I'm oh, going to be I murdered tonight. My friend. Yeah. I'm assuming oh my that God. she is romancing a guy who performs she, on stage with him. And like, she, she, she knows. knows that that's yeah, coming. She yeah, Because yeah. she's making the jokes like, you know, you're not going to see anything until I see. That is not something you bring into the bedroom, Colin. Well, I no. mean, Basic- I don't know. I, I do know. You don't do that. <laughs> I don't know if you know. Basically, they're making dick <laughs> jokes with a ventriloquist yeah. dummy, and it's inside a sleeping bag, and its head's poking out. They're making jokes about dicks, mm-hmm. you know. But it's very it is there's splinter Appalling. jokes. There is oh, Oof. it is Appalling. it is disturbing yeah, on so many Appalling. levels. Yep. If you uh, listener, if you've ever been in a tent in a, <laughs> oh, se- please, in a me, sexual your, situation with a ventriloquist I your, dummy. I want your tent stories. Yeah. I want your ventriloquist dummy stories. Yeah. yeah. I'm 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 sorry. I'm sorry that I'm speaking for all the women. I'm sorry. Maybe <laughs> I'm wrong. But I, if I, someone I, pulls out a ventriloquist dummy, I'm not gonna start taking my clothes off. No. <laughs> no. It's a very niche community, I think, yeah. that is. Oh my uh, god. I would I would this. say it's a fetish. Probably it's yes. probably Maybe a specific fetish. Oh Maybe, God. yeah. But she's like, but you know, yeah. drip it down as fast as humanly possible. And if that's what it is, that's fine. But this movie like does not establish that that is a particular character no. trait. You right. know what I'm saying? No, so, because these are just yeah. random it's people. A we bit. Yeah, these are just right. random yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a like, bit. Uh, yeah, a bit. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, someone literally wrote this scene and was like, "Oh, they're you know fooling around, whatever." And they're like, "You know what? Let's spice it up. Let's add a little something." Yeah. Yeah. Ben no. Twist, I want this movie known for something. Yeah. Dummy jokes. Oh my God. Dummy sex. Yeah. yeah. No, I definitely would think I am about to be murdered. Like Absolutely. I would not be surprised Absolutely. by the by the monster coming into my tent at that point because I'm like, oh, I know I was gonna get murdered. So <laughs> yeah. you know, I'd be so like, bad. well, I was about to be scared. murdered anyways. Yeah. <laughs> I was dead either way. So that was the one yes. we thought where the monster was teleporting, but that's when you find out there's more of them. But like, she runs yeah. down the beach and like right into the oh, yeah. because the poor editing right tells you it's teleporting. Monster. Yeah, like, she would have seen the this thing yes. like Absolutely. a mile away because there's nothing else on this right. that's there. the horror, she runs that's right the into horror it. movie viewpoint yeah. where it, this is like the character doesn't see it until she runs into frame yeah. with it surprise decides, but they would see it in real life if they were running in that direction exactly yeah. especially because they're the, literally the only people camping on the beach like there was no yeah. one else on the beach no one so like yeah it, it doesn't make sense for her to have not seen that nope yeah but you know she does and, and she dies naked Yep. As you do. Gets covered mm-hmm. in seaweed. Like Every woman in this movie seems to get their top ripped off before yeah. they're Or just explodes off the, for uh, no reason. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. explodes yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> There's some, like, is some of that done for a sense of humor? You know, because I think of the editing in the scene uh, of the... Uh, 
the merry-go-round, no. right? <laughs> the merry-go-round scene, like clearly, there's supposed to be a joke there because <laughs> at first you see like there's this little girl on a on a the horse, yeah, and there's like a creature coming after her and her dad. And then yeah. we cut to something else, and we cut back, and like the creature is attacking the dad. And then yeah. we cut to something else, and we come back, and there's nobody there. I don't think that's a joke. <laughs> that's not a joke. I don't think because so. it came off as like hey, this is supposed to be funny. I don't know if it is, but I right? don't think it was. But maybe the editing on that that one girl like, who no, like no, she's funny. wearing a top, and the next time we cut back, like it's half off. Yeah. The next time we cut back, it's totally gone, and she runs yeah. out the yeah. Camp. That's just a, that's just a continuity co- flaw. Co- hey, no, that's Colin, all it is. They're there for mating. They hunt the human women. It says so right on the front. Why that's what though? Going this for. is another yeah. plot point. Why the are they having and sex if you're with human, human women? I I mean I don't. Maybe they're grossed out by. I was gonna say, wasn't there like a science interlude that I was like, I'm bored. I I didn't sign up for biology class tonight. So it was the whole uh, there's the frog sex video. I think we all checked out. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah. Oh, we yeah. all mentally were somewhere else. Yeah, we went back because... to the lab and we were just like, uh, yeah, but, mm, well, yeah. this is a like staple a Park of the yeah. science fiction movie. Except less since, interesting. Like, the 50s. Don't know DNA, <laughs> right? That's that moment where yeah. you have to have the that scientist has to have that moment where they can explain to the audience the pseudoscience that makes the movie possible. Yes. And I think they said it was basically five years beforehand because the creatures were growing what four life cycles in like a year, right? And they had become from fish to men. Yeah, they're like Jack and uh, Rob Williams and Jack. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god, that makes it so much less terrifying if you think about it like that. And so they're just really horny. Well, they want it. They, it's an evolutionary thing, right? In order, to, our next yeah. step after becoming humanoid is to mate with, uh, sure, with human women. To continue the cycle. Yep. And that, of course, has a uh, uh, a final like exclamation point on that with the last scene in the movie. Oh shit! Yeah, which it, this movie suddenly oh, turns Peggy. into it's alive. Yeah, uh, real quick. Or alien. Dead alive. Yeah. Or, no, no, no uh, it's fly. alive. Oh, it's alive. It's yeah, it's alive. Yeah, with the little the kids. It's and like the fly. fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, yeah. There's a scene in a delivery room where poor Peggy, who's been... Poor Peggy, who's been through the shit. Yeah. Mm. Let's just say that. Mm. Between that being molested by her boyfriend and then being molested by sea monsters. Mm-hmm. I think that was willing molestation by the boyfriend, unwilling well, by the sea monsters, and then being packed in seaweed. It's not for you to say, seaweed. Colin, whether it was willing or not from the boyfriend. Just saying. Eh. And then packed in cold seaweed. No, no and you're right. And but... uh, rescue. We'll move on. Yeah, I mean, you're right, but let's move on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, she's been through hell. She gives birth to some kind of uh, half human, half fish monster. Or, yeah. Or, I mean, it like pops up through her saying, stomach it and it's... it's just like. <laughs> this is the carry moment because Friday the 13th hadn't been out at the time that they. It has shot to be this. carry then. Yeah. 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 They were like, oh shit, that worked. We'll do that. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> when did It's Alive come out? Was it after this? It had to have been, no, right? 78. So it could have been a It's Maybe. Alive moment then. That movie Maybe. was fucked. I'm going to look it up. <laughs> I was also, Let's all listen to her look it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, while you're looking it up, I was also up. kind of surprised. 1974. 74. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 74. Yeah. Shit. Wow. Mm. Yeah, that is earlier than. Yep. So the second was like 76. Mm-hmm. Probably the whole It's Alive trilogy was, was like 70s? in the 70s. Yeah, yeah I think so. Be. Damn. Coming out on video soon, if not yes. now. Yes, mm-hmm. I think it's out now. We forgot to talk about the cornbread line. I'm down for that. I, okay, we're what was we're, the cornbread line? I we're, remember one lady's her her her. I, I don't. I can't remember any of these people's fucking names. So Johnny I'm sorry. Eagle, um, Johnny no, and bro, Jim and bro. This was a woman. Yep, one of the woman characters. Bro's girlfriend. She uh, her Linda. her. As, Linda. Yeah, it yeah. was a Linda. Uh-huh. As, as being Midwesterners, I I can. This sure. is a valuable yeah. friend to have. She says, "I make really good cornbread," and I'm like, "I'm there, you know, I'm there." <laughs> Come over and have some fish cornbread. Good cornbread. I caught yeah. this fish. And then she yeah. and then she literally comes out like right before someone gets attacked and says, "I've got cornbread." Like that's her line. Like, yeah. and she's like that. She's like, "I've got cornbread." Like, and then everyone's dead, you know. So well, that's right. But. Before the horrible racist like throws a, a Molotov cocktail at Johnny Eagle's house, and have we talked right. about, have we talked about the explosions? explosions? Oh we haven't even God. talked about the explosions. We missed how everything explodes. Oh my God! Like, Inglorious like explode. I mean, like they're Great good fashion. explosions too. I mean, I like they're, them. They're solid, but they're the explanation behind them is not so sound. Ex- they're so exaggerated. No, no sound. No sound. The boat. 
<laughs> you know, yeah, no, 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 the, the idea logic. behind it is not. Yeah, sound yeah, logic. yeah, yeah, no. not there with it. Yeah, no, the it, boat explosion. I've never, although, well, that all makes sense because the kid is dumb and just spills I've, gas. But everywhere. that boat yeah. explodes like three times. <laughs> it did. It, it does. Really and does. then that fucking Molotov cocktail. It's just like. Everything is made of yeah. gasoline yeah. in this movie. Was your house full of propane tanks? Right. I, propane, propane, propane tanks. No, I, yes. I know, but yes. I, I, Hank Hill's house. Yeah. I maintain that he had a gas leak. Yeah. yeah. That's my Everyone theory. Has a gas leak. Theory. Yeah, Honestly, like this whole movie could be sleep. explained by a gas leak. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 Linda's car goes off the bridge and hits the bottom of the gorge and explodes. Yep. Yep. Uh, and then, of course, the way that they try to kill these beasts is they set them light on fire. the harbor on fire. Right. Which of them, the harbor. The yeah. harbor. The harbor. The wa- we're going to set the water on yeah. fire. They but make like seems... a half ring out of fire. That... Yeah. It's yeah. Half-ass. How do you do that and uh, not burn the boats? Because uh, there's boats in the marina. Yeah. yeah. And the, the whole center of the thing is on no, fire. No, there's, there's no... There's no... There's no logic I mean, I, I think the real. Well, I have an idea, but <laughs> oh, my shit. guess Please is go. that you would put like some kind of gas, uh, like a bar underneath the surface, so you're just kind of lighting the gas that's coming out of the out of the bar. Are you talking so you practical? Oh, you're, practical. Like, you're talking oh. practical effects. Practical. I thought you were talking oh. about the plot. Yeah, because right. yeah, you I thought you were talking about the plot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, practically. Yeah, okay. Practically. Yeah. I guess because yeah. I was okay. watching it going like. I'm kind of impressed by this production design because, like, if I owned one of those boats and you said, well, I'm going to light the marine, I'd be like, no. Yeah. No, that's my fucking boat. Are no, you not going to have this have controlled? Fire? Yeah. So how do you guarantee right. control? Okay, then? yeah. Mm, that makes more sense. But yeah. can you imagine, like, gigantic tanks or something? Like, under, I mean, how does that rig that up? I don't know. It feels uh, like a big deal, the, you know. I've, I mean, probably. I mean, unless it's people were just, like, putting gas in the water and be like, light it up. Yeah. Maybe. Sounds risky. Oh, this whole movie was risky, yeah. man. This, yeah. It was a thing. It's the fish monsters. And the gore. Did we talk about, like, the, the gore effects? Uh, people getting their faces ripped off. People oh, yeah. getting decapitation. It was a decapitation. I mean, yeah, no, they were the fun. The boyfriend got his face ripped off, which is pretty cool. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. it was a reveal where she's like, what's wrong with you, Jimmy? Mm-hmm. Pulls him around. And she's like, oh. Yeah, no, the gore, the gore was fun. Good, yeah. mm-hmm. And there like, was a there's lot plenty of blood of spurting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, People because the the creatures seem gashes. to have like a hose hooked up to their hands, so Basically. whenever they grab onto you, <laughs> yeah. it's like it just <laughs> sprays blood. Which is what I want. Like, if there's going to be monsters killing people, yeah. I mm-hmm. want like you want it to be mon- wet and messy. Want, like, I do because they're going to be like superhuman strength, and they're just going to be like biting and tearing people apart. They're yeah. predators, Colin, mm-hmm. and they need to be killing people. Oh, yeah. So shit needs to spray. Yeah. So I'm all for that. <laughs> shit needs to spray. Shit needs, shit needs to spray. spray. That is a horrible visual, Sean. Shit needs to spray. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think we should just end it there. All right. <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, I'll tell you what, listener. I hope you stick with us because what we're going to do, you don't even know like what our true you feelings are about humanoids know. from the deep. I'm kind of curious because I brought the movie. I want to hear what everybody thought. We're going to go around the table and we're going to hear from each one individually on how they thought about or what they thought about humanoids from the deep. But first, it's a little diversion off the side. We're going to take a break. We're going to summon our mailman. We're going to answer some of your mail. And so we're gonna bring. We're gonna call Igor to bring us the mail. Igor, masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thank you, Igor. Igor, mm-hmm. a little humanoid. Thanks, Igor. Yeah, yeah he's our. He is our humanoid. He's our yeah, he humanoid. is. Oh, he's much. Calmer and less he sharp. Is. He yeah. leaves that yeah. same slime all over the place. I know. Slime God damn it. It's a problem. It's a problem. That, that smell that I imagine yeah. that these creatures left. Yeah, it's At least he's not a dog here. murderer, you know? Very oh, that we know of. That no, we know that, of. You know no. what? No, in my mind, he does not murder dogs. He loves no, he animals. We don't know what he does when he goes out here at, we, in the morning. We let him out? I thought no, we kept him in the basement. Animals. Well, yeah. Colin, well, little, Colin little lets him out a couple times God damn it, yeah. Colin. He better not be killing the neighborhood dogs. <laughs> but he brings back like little kitties and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, no, he loves animals. It's fine. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's it's like... Fine. He's much more of like a Frankenstein in that aspect of like... Yeah. Yeah. Just throw a dog in the water and be like... Yeah, exactly. He's fine. Well, let's remind the good folks how they can become a part of the Freak Show family by writing to us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. So about humanoids from the deep, Kevin the Clayton writes in. Welcome. And he says, this movie is one of my favorites. I have it and I watch it all the time. It's a B-movie phenomenon. It has everything a midnight movie needs. Oh, I'll agree with that. I would love to watch this at a drive-in. 
Yeah. It has everything. I think that's its, it's yeah. native yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 That's, element. Yeah. Or even like a, the drive in at docks they do with boats. Ooh, that would be the way mm-hmm. to watch it, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, that Elmo would be draft the best. Yeah. Just like float up on the watch. Yeah. Ooh, I would love to watch it. That would be a good way to watch it. All right, about our movie last week's episode, Fear. Uh, C. Huds writes in. C. Huds. C. Huds. He says, I saw this when it first came out in video, but I haven't seen it since. As I remember it, this was an okay dramatic performance. He put that in quotes. Dramatic performance by Marky Mark. He doesn't seem to have improved there. He's great in dumb roles, like, dumb guy roles like Ted and Pain and Gain, but I don't know why studios insist on trying to make him a dramatic actor or action star. I mean... I mean, we frequently talk about the the stop trying to make this happen club of actors. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think Marky Mark falls into that per se, but yeah, I get what you're saying really, that like right. he's found his niche and he's going to stick to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And now how he's got he? the Transformers franchise. Yeah. How so. is he in that? Because I've never seen Pain- him in the what painting game. No Transformers, like I've never he's, seen. I mean, do you, Mark it's Wahlberg. a Michael Bay movie. Do you want to sure, see it? Sure, but I like, don't. Like, I don't know. Not do at all. Do you think it's a challenge for him? Like, mm-hmm. do, like no, what I, do you think? But I want to know if it's if it's comical, if he's trying hard. Like, I don't know. I have. Have you seen any Transformers movie? I've seen the first two. It's, it's like that. that. It's that. Mark but, well, but with Mark Wahlberg. It's literally no different. Yeah. What's it's, your name? I just, your name's Optimus Prime? Yeah, yeah. exactly. I, Say I hi to your mother for me. Episode <laughs> yeah. And Colin's puppy dog version of uh, Mark Wahlberg. But he does have like that sing songy, like, kind of speech to his oh, no. voice. Like you know? it's musical, like, the way yeah. he uses his accent. If I can get the uh, yeah. New York or the what, the Boston. 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 You, you did the. Uh, the you got to uh, turn your T's into D's. That's what you do. You did your happening impersonation of him with the Bumblebees, huh? Yeah. That's pretty spot on. That's, that's it. Well, uh, Sea Huds also says, uh, apologies to Holly and Michaela for my unintended sexism in my Amber Heard versus Jeremy, Jamie Gertz question that I, she, they posed to the group. Was that last week? No, oh, that was a, that was a while ago. You could apologize to all yeah. of us. That's fine. Some of us so, are also uh, offended by yeah, sexism. Offended. It, it's fine. Uh, He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. He says, so here's Just a follow-up. Uh, which... <laughs> Which is each freak show member's ultimate male and female celebrity crush? Going around the room, Holly. Oh, I didn't know I'd get a male. Um, okay. Oh, uh, we have to pick a female one too. No, I think it's depending on who you are. <laughs> I mean, I'll, okay. I'll pick a male. First, first of all, I think in that same episode after I got mad at we backtracked. Hugs, I was like, this was clearly the question for Sean and Colin. Yeah, we backtracked. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, we qualified it. Yeah, so, yeah, like, clearly, like, oh, yeah. Was for you guys. Like, no, oh, see, I remember that. Yeah. See, Huds, you're all good. Don't you're worry fine. about it, man. You're, you're all fine. good. But I do like this question. This is a fucking great question. We've added to this also we're gonna add a we're category ad- we call time travel yeah. fuck I, I this is this is uh, this is something I've posed to people a lot it's yeah. the time travel fuck yeah who would you go back in time and th- I mean this can be people in history but I mean let's face it it's just movie people yeah but I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with um I'm gonna go with a, a, a top three Let's go with the top three <laughs> and a time travel. I'm doing okay, four. I'm doing four. Time <laughs> okay. You just want to lead, you're just like, I have 10 people. Because, no, people. because I love celebrities mm-hmm. more than real people. So um, I'm going to go with current people. I got Tom Hardy, Tom Hiddleston, and Sebastian Stan. I love mm-hmm. them. They're amazing. And my time travel is 1950s Marlon Brando. Hands down. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Hotness. Wait, uh, Hotness. like the wild one or uh, on like the waterfront? on the, the waterfront? Yeah. Or yeah. a streetcar named Desire? Uh, oh God, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you had to pick one, I have to. I have to pick one. Well, he's a bit of a rapist in streetcar, so I'm going to go with on the waterfront. Okay. okay. Yeah. That just could have been contender. <laughs> I I have a I have a narrow sta- narrow window for this. Um, I have three criteria: dark hair, jawline, leather jacket. That Absolutely. is uh, yeah. that is all it takes to make it onto my list. <laughs> yeah. So that being said, my time travel fuck is you guys all know this is coming. 70s John Travolta. Absolutely. You all knew that. That's not surprised to anybody sitting around this table. It's not surprising. I know he doesn't, (laughs) but but in the 70s he might have. Yes, he would have. Sean. In the 70s, he would have. If I can time travel yes. to the 70s, okay, yeah. Fine, yes, fine, he would have. Yes, he would have. Um, otherwise, uh, my ride or dies are Tom Hardy yes. and Milo Ventimiglia. I, I yes. got to be with both of them all. Which, you know, ride or die. Speaking of, who, Dark, did you, who did you see today? I, I mean, I did meet him today, so I'm still coming down from that high. <laughs> but I mean, he does have the dark hair, jawline, leather jacket oh, yeah. criteria. Absolutely. So that's, I mean. Absolutely. I mean, a uh, listener, if you listened to our previous episode of Near Dark, you found out that Bill Paxton hits that criteria real oh, quick. Bill Dark yeah. hair, jawline, leather jacket. I love Bill Paxton. That's it. You're May in my club. Rest. So May he rest. Sean, 
Uh, first of all, I'm going to pick Tom Hardy as my uh, same sex. Oh sure. Oh sure. I, sure. That's that's. I didn't that's know. Yeah. I didn't know if we were supposed to do that or not. Yeah. No, it got uh, some wires got crossed, but I'm just mm-hmm. if nothing else, I'm just going to no. put that out. There. I'll, I'll add mine at the end. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I, I will yeah. too. I need yeah, to think about it. Hold for it. I'll I'll pick Tom about Hardy. This. Yeah. I wouldn't mind in that regard. Um, yeah. as, as far as uh, time travel one, uh, the only one I can think of off the top of my head, um, and I would, if I had more time to think about it, it would definitely change from this, but um, I'm going to say uh, Sophia Loren. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She was a very Marriage attractive Italian woman. style. She was attractive for a very long time. Yes. Um, but Sophia Loren, yeah. I'd, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd be all right with that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. It's just, I haven't thought of this list in a while, um, but I, you know, I'm all for. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt has always been on that list. Sure. Um, I mean, Jenna Fisher, she got that look to you her. You got a Jenna club going on. I, huh? I, I do. It, it's like, and, uh, you got, ooh, you gotta uh, get them gens. <laughs> maybe. Um, ooh, I don't know. And this will change tomorrow. And like, um, I was going to say Alyssa Milano, but that may just because we mm. kind of brought fear. it up now. Yeah. We just watched Fear. I will say definitely Jennifer Love Hewitt. And she's all time. Mm-hmm. And I'll take Jenna Fisher. So I'll yeah, just stick sure. with those and Sophia Loren. Those and are evergreen solid. choices. And I'll be Solid. Happy. Yeah. Like, I'm all good with all Solid. Those. Well, see, Huds, I'm going to say that uh, neither uh, Amber Heard or Jamie Kurtz would be on my no, list. But strangely enough, yeah, that's no. why I was waiting right. for you. No, no, no. There's too many. Like they're they're good for a list, but not mm-hmm. the like. This is your only list. Yeah. Well, I've always been in love with uh, Machen Amick, if I'm oh, saying her yeah. name right. But I mean, that's the thing. Like when I was introduced to her, I think like she's around, maybe around my age, because when I was introduced to her, it was like you know in the Twin Peaks era. And, you know, I was in love with her then. And then, you know, I mean, even now in the stuff that she does, what the witches of we- East End and Riverdale and all that stuff, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. it's like she's still, uh, yeah, smoking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, time travel would be, unfortunately, both of my other ones, uh, like uh, uh, Captain Kronos era, uh, Caroline Monroe. Or yeah, like, you know, what did she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. What was the Bond movie that she was in? Like around that time. Or yeah. Dracula, 80, 1972. Yeah. And uh, I've always had, I've had this thing that I haven't really thought out. It's one of those just kind of like you're attracted kind of deals. Uh, was Marissa Mel from uh, Danger Diabolic. Uh, and I actually tracked down a Lucio Fulci movie she was in called Perversion Story, a.k.a. One on Top of the Other, which is <laughs> wow. a, not a bad Jello movie. <laughs> wow. the, so I've only seen her in two things. but That's uh, all you need. You only yeah. see them in one thing. Yeah, she is a foxy lady. Mm-hmm. There you go. Ooh, we should, we should yeah, add our women I'll, choices. I'll throw my same sex in there as uh, Christina Hendricks. Ah, Naomi yeah, Watts. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Naomi Watts yeah, is gonna be my choice. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, Marissa Tomei. Right. Oh, I love mm-hmm. Marissa Tomei. I love Marissa Tomei. I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> mind hanging out with Alice Cooper. <laughs> 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 I mean, oh, you don't want to fuck. I mean, that, that, that would be like on, you know, like yeah. if you're like, you know, somebody that you want to meet and like think you'd like to hang out. That's with, not what like, we're talking about, Colin. Yeah. We're talking about no. fucking. Oh, yeah. well, no, we're there, talking about fucking. Yeah, yeah. 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 nothing there. So. Hey, you, you will be surprised how when you are in in the presence of a, a attractive, famous person, how you fall in line i would say like you just you are under like, their spell like I you are under their spell like, yeah. what do you what do you want yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. that's the, yeah. the being the light in the room yeah. i guess and mm-hmm. that uh yeah they uh i got to update my list fuck yeah. mm-hmm. it's okay. all right so all answers to this but just so this doesn't go on for we got yeah. uh anaconda more. we got a couple more mm-hmm. so anaconda our episode which you should listen to mm-hmm. uh mia says that uh, john voigt from anaconda says this man used to pet anacondas in movies what? <laughs> oh, let's try that again. This man used to pet anacondas in movies. What? I don't know. Did you? Is eat, that a dick uh, joke? It feels uh, like a dick joke. I'm maybe. pretty sure it's a dick joke. <laughs> it felt like a dick. joke. It sounds like someone who used to jack off on set. Because he what was I'm on. Uh, this has got to be like a midnight cowboy joke. Yeah, it has it's to be right. right? It has oh, to be yeah, old, yeah, it has yeah, to be yeah. An old okay. joke. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen it, so I know it's a classic. Don't get on me. But I, mean, I haven't seen it. It's, <laughs> it's all right. But I mean, I've seen it. Yeah, but of course I've seen I, it. But even if you've seen it, I don't think the 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 petting anacondas joke is necessarily uh, up front. So, no, you because know like I feel like that slang is post nineties. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, I, I apologize. I'm curious about the John Voight. I apologize that we don't understand your joke. Yep. Sorry, <laughs> Mia. I think we get it, but I'm curious as to the history of what led to this joke. Yeah. Right. So, so I want to know that. Jonathan Holt says, "I love this week's episode. I hope you keep the snake vibe going and review snakes on a plane one day soon. I'd love to hear everyone's feeling on the original title says it all flicks. Is uh, that the original title yeah. says it? Not They're the original, humanoids no. from the deep. I mean, they are humanoids yeah. says, from a deep. Mm-hmm. Um, I will never pick that, but I will also <laughs> never pick that. 
So I, I mean, I, I don't know. Or Michaela it, not to pick that, but that's not my choice. Don't tell no me to live my life, Sean. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now that you said that, now I want yeah, to pick exactly. it. So, so, so way to go. There you know, that was his um, intention the whole time. Yeah. Michaela, yeah. don't fall into yeah. that yeah. trap. Challenge accepted. Uh, by I mean, I feel inspired to pick monster movies in general now. Yeah. Right. Post Anaconda, I will yeah. say that. Absolutely. 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 Yeah. Uh, monster movies are the best. Like, I mean, Lake Placid's going to come up at some point. You know, for sure, for sure. Uh, Tony Genoway writes in and says, listening as I was trying, listening to the show as I was trying to wake up and then laughing at the thought of a muskrat trying to kick a cobra's ass. It's the <laughs> mongoose that takes on predators many times the size. Muskrats are the ones in the dopey Captain and Tennille song. Muskrat yeah. oh. Susie, Muskrat Sam. Oh my job. God. Oh, no. Wow. Captain and Tennille. No, you oh, fucking God. didn't. Wow. If there's one song in this goddamn world that I hate, it's fucking <laughs> Muskrat <laughs> Love and you just brought it up. I mean, does fuck anybody you. really like Captain Muskrat? Good job, My parents Tony. do. My parents do. Yeah. What the fuck? I hate that song. Uh, it Isn't also that, didn't, didn't uh, Uncle Jesse fall in love to a woman? Yes, he Muskrat did. Love is yep. that a thing? All right, that's what I thought. I, I hate that song. In the Dukes of Hazard. No, no, it's like, full, oh, house. Full, house. <laughs> full house. Full house. That was a, that was a yeah, that was a full house thing. Um, so it's a different. Yeah, Uncle Jesse is a different person to me. So uh, <laughs> then, a fa- so I asked what everybody's favorite snake movie was. Uh, after watching Anaconda, uh, B Movie Poster Vault said, "It's a silly question, really." And then he posted a picture of Snake Plissken. Oh my! Oh my God! I love that answer. Uh, yeah, Britain. Yeah, right, that's a good. Uh, that, yeah. You know what? Yeah, yeah. solid. Bravo. Well done. Well solid. done. Yeah, bravo. Yeah, that, that wins. That's, that's not. Escape from L.A., Sean. No, he's not. Fine. No, that's no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> but he's not picking your movie. Escape from New York ironically, is a bad movie. That's fine. The gift that's that he posted okay. was from Escape from God damn it! God yes! damn it! Uh, God damn it! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stop validating, Sean. Uh, Britton Pikarski says, oh. "Snakes on a plane and snakes on a train." Oh, all right. That's uh, sounds that's like a double just, feature. You're just naming things that don't make sense. Uh, mm-hmm. Tom Hemsley says, "Raiders of the Lost Ark." Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And Strap says Conan the Destroyer, but I think he means Conan the Barbarian. Gotcha. I right. call yeah. a giant snake yeah. Conan the Destroyer. Hmm. Oh, no. Wait, what's there? No, there wasn't. Uh, mm-hmm. It's up to you. All right, so that brings us to the main event round of the Saturday Night Freak Show. Thanks for sticking with us. Again, uh, did we say how they can? Yeah, so we did. How yeah, they we get did. A hold of yep. So uh, we're going to go around the room and give you our final wrap ups. And tonight we're going to start with Holly. What did you think about this movie called Humanoids from the Deep? Humanoids from the Deep. Not of the Deep. Not yeah, the we, deep. We're emphasizing from the from because we from. keep saying of. We keep saying of. Saying it wrong yeah. a lot. Yeah. Um, okay, so I, I really like monster movies. I think they're so much fun. Um, I feel like this one... <sighs> I thought you were gonna be like, I really like not Roger Corman movies. Um, I don't. There was there was something about this. Like, I think it would have been more enjoyable if it had come out in like the 1950s creature era. Um, I I think it fell short in 1980. Um, I, I I did I did like the design. I thought it was a fun creature design, like we said earlier. Um, but. It just, it was lacking. I was kind of bored watching it. And honestly, whoever wrote this has some really fucked up ideas of sex. Like between the, the monster sex and As the ventriloquist they did in the sex. 70s, 80s, and 90s. I mean, I'm just saying monster sex, ventriloquist sex, <laughs> like back of, like in the middle of a parking lot and a hoedown sex. It's like, that's, uh, it's hoedown all. Sex. Hoedown it's sex. All. Uh, that is weird sex. <laughs> that's the yeah. weirdest one. Yeah. Let's be real. It's, it's, it's weird, man. Weird sex um, with the best. I know weird stuff, dude. Um, I don't know. I uh, normal, yeah. I know I'm so just all over the place. Um, I I don't usually like like sex exploitation type stuff when it involves raping women, but honestly, in this, it was just so like boring. It didn't even bother me. <laughs> I was like, you know, that's not even the part that's really bugging me. Um, the dog thing bu- bothered me. That was not necessary. Um, but yeah, no, I just, I was not wowed by this movie. It was just, it just fell short. The editing was all over the place. It was just kind of like pieced together in a weird way. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't think I could recommend it. It just, it, it fell short. It wasn't, it wasn't a fun watch. And normally we have fun with creature movies, but yeah, I was a little bored with it. Fell short. Can't recommend. Michaela. All right, so I have a theory about this movie. 
<laughs> it's not actually a mating movie. I think that these monsters actually have a problem with infrastructure. Because <laughs> they... <laughs> I love the angle you're going at this they, I, they, I think they are opposing the cannery. Because <laughs> uh-huh. uh, they uh-huh. destroy the fucking boardwalk. They break into the houses. They destroy the tents. They're like, fuck humans. And they're like, they're sprawl everywhere. That's so, the real angle. The, the monsters are the heroes in this movie, guys. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Fuck! I need you, ten minutes. <laughs> I need ten minutes to rethink everything. Yeah, I just saw. you you put way more thought oh into God. this than I no, did. The, the, yeah. the, the real struggle here is monster or nature versus yeah. in, infrastructure. Right? And, and, <laughs> and the monster yeah. incursion oh, brings it. people oh. together. Yeah, because yeah. the second week in a row we've wow. used the incursion word. Yeah. Incursion. Oh, well, the, the monster attack because even the bad guy who's the main villain, mm-hmm. Slattery, at the end oh, is yeah. like rescued by Johnny Eagle. Yep. In a wow. moment that. Trying to actually it brings rescue people a small that child. hate each yeah. other together. Yep. Yes. Yeah, because they have Are that they moment really where they're like, yeah, they're looking at each other like, well, you did just save my <laughs> life, Johnny yeah. Eagle. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, so that's the wow. real struggle Fuck, of this man. movie. Wow. Um, aside from that, okay, that was my big uh, grandiose point. Here's some minor wow. points that probably don't matter as much. Um, there's a part when... Um, the couple that is in like the swimsuits on the beach, just hanging out. Not the not the tent couple. Mm-hmm. Um, in the denim shorts. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's Peggy okay. and her boyfriend, whoever he is. Uh, yeah. When she's they like, were the ones fucking at the hoedown. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The hoedown fuckers. Yeah. So okay. The hoedown fuckers. <laughs> her, so her like swimsuit is actually like from the front, pretty timeless from its design. Yeah. Like it doesn't yeah. look. Feels partic- like it, yeah. it doesn't look particularly eighties like a lot of swimsuits do. Right. But when she turns around and runs, there's a real unfortunate design in this um, swimsuit where like it's like a leaf like a fern leaf yes. pattern oh, yeah. on the yes. front yeah, yeah, yeah. and like the leaf goes like down and around her crotch but like the back of her swimsuit is all white it looks yeah. like she shit her pants it, looks, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it does I was gonna say or a period leak or <laughs> I missed, like I missed yeah. All this. yeah oh I saw it and I could not stop thinking about it yeah. I was yeah, like yeah. I was like what, what asshole designed the yep. swimsuit right. to I mean, make it look like she shit her some, pants I think assholes just all assholes yeah. have mm-hmm. designed swimsuits. Yeah. So I think that's just what But, like, is. the whole back of the swimsuit is white, even though the whole front is green with, like, the fern leaves. Mm-hmm. The whole back is white, except for the crotch leaf that makes it look okay. like, yeah, like she shit her yeah, pants. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't think you're ever supposed to see that <laughs> no, part of it, but, but yeah, yeah. you do. But so. you do, okay. yeah. So she's so. running away from this monster and it looks like she shit yeah, her yeah. pants. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're running away from yeah. the giant sea monster, well, you, you might shit your. You pants. might. Yeah, you pants. might. You might. But I wouldn't. Blame yeah, but I don't think this movie thought that out enough. You no, know what I'm saying? Didn't. Like, no. it's not purposeful. No. I would say the like I, I was trying to think of what it was the whole time that this uh, monster reminds me of, and it's like a less cool pumpkin head. That's I. That's I, what I got it is. that too. Uh, the like, that shape too. of the head. Yeah. Like, I got that too. It's a less cool pumpkin head. I'm with you on that. Um, uh, yeah, this movie, I feel like if you see Roger Corman on the top of anything, you know what you're in for. So I would recommend it based on if you know what Roger Corman movies are. Um, if you don't, uh, that's your fault and figure it out. Uh, because if you don't know what Roger Corman movies are and you're listening to this podcast, I don't know what you're doing here. What's your um, favorite Roger Citizen. Corman produced movie? Uh, Star probably Star Crash, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> I, honestly, yeah, probably. Because that one, you're just like, what's happening? What's happening? What's it's happening? Got the, but it's got the Hoff in it. Yeah. yeah, but you're along for the ride. You're like, I, I don't know what's happening, but I'm here for it. You know. Yeah, for, um, what's his name? What's his uh, uh, the, her her sidekick in the movie? Oh, Marjo Gordner. Marjo, yeah, 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 Gordner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marjo Gordner is my favorite. Um, <laughs> I love him. The star of Food of the Gods. Oh, he was a football so player. Good. Food. Oh God, yeah. Food of the Gods. Of the wow. Gods. Yeah. Um, this movie is wall to wall trucker hats, flannel. It is oh, yeah. puffy vests. Yeah. Um, yeah. Every literally everything that is in style right now is wall to wall. This movie. Yeah. Um, I saw a few friends of mine in this movie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Uh, Fewer beards, though. They had mustaches. Yeah, 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 yeah. but not, yeah. not so many big beards. Yeah, nobody yeah. goes for this. They just, it's all... Uh, the Foley work was questionable at best in, best in this movie. Are you There's talking a, about when the shirt fell and it sounded like a samurai sword? Oh, yeah. Sword? yeah. It literally yeah. sounds like someone unsheathing a samurai sword. I yeah. wrote in my notes, uh, it says... Puppy murder, and then it says samurai sword sound. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, so, puppy murder. Yeah. Yeah. Puppy, yeah. Murder. <laughs> puppy murder, yeah. and then, uh, yeah. Puppy murder. Um, uh, Foley work is terrible. The 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 when terrible. that brawl breaks out, that's like a bunch of like celery hitting a punching bag. Yeah, it slap is. sound. It's terrible. God bless it. Um, yeah. but I think this movie's fun, even though it's not particularly good. But I mean, I mean, I feel like for that ventriloquist tent scene alone, <laughs> you kind of got to watch this movie just for that. So I would recommend it, Sean. Oh, the ventriloquist sex scene is, it's, I mean, that's, I can't remember the last time I've seen something like that. Exactly. So that that's like a, a plus on the side of this yeah. movie. Like, just to, if if they only included it just to be like, well, this movie's got to be known for something, 
and it's going to be known for it, this. I'm it just worked. like, you know what? Bravo, because I'm going to remember that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think this movie does just enough to be memorable to me. I like, uh, you know, it's 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 just low budget enough. I like the monster work in it. I mean, whatever you think about it, uh, Rob Teen just starting out on it. Um, the story is, I, I think it's good enough to be entertaining. Like, I had fun with this movie watching it tonight. Um, it's it's ridiculous enough. It's just, I I had a good time watching tonight. I would recommend Humanoids from the Deep, not of the Deep. Humanoids of the Deep, don't watch that movie. No, from, <laughs> from the from Deep, deep. From the Deep, I'm all for it. Um, I think they, I mean, if just looking at this cover and reading that that front quote unquote tagline, I'm just like, ah, they fucked that up enough. I I want to know what they did with the rest of the movie. So, um, yeah, I recommend it. I think it does. It's just enough to be uh, kind of low budget entertaining, and I think that's good enough for me. So I recommend Humanoids from the Deep. Check it out, Colin. Yeah, I think that's where you have to go after this movie, right? It's like it, you know, it's not necessarily like high art or good entertainment. It's low budget exploitation fare, uh, and I think it covered several bases that. As I was watching it, because, you know, again, I've watched a lot of these crappy mm-hmm. fucking movies in my life, and you sit there watching them, you're like, yeah, okay, this did, uh, yeah, I was okay with this or whatever. The writing isn't, and, you know, the characterization is not, you know, really anything to write home about, mm-hmm. but the exploitation elements, which are like, there's a lot more nudity than you would expect in this movie, you know, when it's like, Jesus. And, well, maybe you would with that premise, right? Maybe. Which is like, this. it's a distasteful premise. That they're going to be like, this, that's what we're making our movie about. It's fish men, <laughs> yeah. like, screwing human women. Yeah. Like, come and see it. And so you've got, the, I guess, the three pillars, right? Well, A, it wasn't boring. But B, it's like it had monsters. And the monsters weren't awful. They were actually pretty cool seaweed, you know, uh, seaweed. mermen, whatever. <laughs> I think there's yeah, another yeah. movie from the same era called Screamers. Which I mean, has like a poster movie. of like, it looks like somebody, you know, like the veins or the capillary system of a person. But I think it's actually a retitling of an Italian movie that was called Island of the Fishmen, which I have to see. Like not not the Screamer Screamers with. Uh, no, this is from like the seven, late 70s or 80s. Okay. Not the, say, not, the, uh, uh, not the Peter Weller. Not the Peter Weller Screamers. Okay. This is an older one. But I think it was the same era as this where they were doing uh, Mermen and I haven't seen it. So, of course, you know, I got to check is it there out. a Mermen era? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, well, like Dagon came a lot later. All right, the, Dagon. The Did you see Kremlin. that's getting a release? Dagon? Getting re-released? Like, as, as a Blu-ray, like, updated release? Whoa, I got to check it out. Oh, yeah, Dagon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, Dagon's getting, like, a Blu-ray official release. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, well, I'll check that out, definitely. I like uh, like like my uh, my Fishmen yes, uh, movies. Um, but it had, uh, you know, so I had the monsters. It had the sexploitation elements, which were, you know, again, heaped on there in a way that was like, okay, we've clearly satisfied the quota and gone higher than that. Uh, and then the gore factor, which was like, it, I guess that's where I was most surprised because somehow, I mean, I guess I'm a gore hound in some ways that, <laughs> yeah, you, you know, yeah, yeah, you yeah. are in some ways. It, it adds Most like, ways. I, well, I've, Always. We've, Always. We've, we mentioned this before. It's like putting, you know, your salt and pepper, the mixture on your, you know, your steak, right. Or spice whatever. It up a little you bit. spice it up. And th- that's the spice. It's like, when you see it, it's like the makeup effects in this are like actually competently well done. I mean, it's one of the best things that they do in the movie. Yeah, the makeup's true. better than the acting. Yeah. The makeup's better yeah. than the, the, the storytelling, yeah. the directing mm-hmm. or the editing. And so you watch yeah. it, and there's like yeah. these fountains of blood spraying all over the place. Mm-hmm. Mayhem mm-hmm. that's fairly well orchestrated, maybe. Okay, it may be going that, too far. Well, but I mean, there's it's mayhem. Well orchestrated, but as <laughs> the in gore the bigger picture, it doesn't make sense. But sure, yeah, the gore moments work. It was like, ah, oh, so you you know you get to the fish buffet at the end, or fishman buffet at the end. <laughs> and there's a gore galore, um, and so all of those things, I guess, gave the movie a heartbeat. Uh, that kind of made it stand out to me to where I'm like, well, this is like one of the better of the new world era uh, movies. And I think, you know, um, on some ways looking at like what Roger Corman did with this movie, the judgment call that he made, it's like, you know, we're going to hire this uh, lady to make Barbara Peters to make this movie and then take it from her. 
and hire this other guy to come in and, you know, add the exploitation to it seems underhanded. Right. And you're like, well, it's kind of if you thought it was your movie, but like in the real world, it's like it was Roger Corman's project the whole time. And like, Mm. this is the goal that he was trying to get. But I'm saying that because he added those elements, we remember humanoids from the deep. Because otherwise you wouldn't have ever, you know, this movie would have fallen by the wayside, like Forbidden World. I'm sorry if you're a big fan of that movie, (laughs) but like, you know, when you think of this era, Roger Corman, if I was to list, you know, uh, Piranha, probably Humanoids from the Deep, Battle Beyond the Stars, and maybe uh, Star Crash, Gal- Galaxy of Terror. Maybe in even in that order mm-hmm. as the ones that you'd recognize, uh, because you know, Up from the Depths. Anyone? Anyone? No. no. You know uh, that kind of thing. I feel like I've seen that, but I don't, also don't remember anything there about might it. Might be so. Fishman in that too, but it might have came later. Might be, yeah. Uh, but I mean, that's why you remember the movie because it was, you know, because it, it pushed those boundaries makes it stand out and i think for those reasons that's why it's you know entertaining uh even today even though you know i think you know this holly has a point the pacing is slower because you know we're looking at a different era this is pre-mtv you know the the pacing is just slower and the way that you know scenes are cut together is off and odd and you know uh and the writing like we said isn't the strongest but i think Mm -hmm. it is it's a it's still fun uh maybe not you know like a a catastrophic series of errors fun like right. you know star crash or whatever but it's still enter- highly entertaining i think and i would recommend humanoids from the deep so next week then we're gonna watch a movie that's chosen by sean <laughs> thank you for that uh we're gonna watch a movie called runaway with Tom oh, Selleck. With Tom Selleck. I've wanted to see oh this. Oh my Tom god! Yeah, all right. I've, seen, I've seen this. I've seen it before, but it's been like yeah. fucking thirty Me goddamn years. Too. So we're gonna okay. watch Ronald right. with Tom. Is this our first, first Tom Selleck movie? Tom's, I think it's our first well, Tom Selleck movie. How many movie? Tom Selleck movies are gonna show up on the Saturday Night Freak Show? Not a lot. I don't show. think mm, this all, is it. All of the Jesse Stone movies. Not. <laughs> I was kidding. No, we're not gonna watch any of those. I would venture to bring Quigley down under. I don't that's think it's a freak, freak show, show movie, but that's this a, is freak show yeah, material. True. Runaway Killer is robots fucking true. And like Sam square Sam robots. Yeah, good movie. Yeah. I love that. I movie. love that movie, but it's not a freak show movie. Which but one? That's that's true. Yeah, quickly, yeah. that's a legitimately yeah. good movie. That's yeah. Alan Rickman. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Good I love that it's good. movie. Yeah. I love that movie. But yeah, Runaway. Okay, so we're gonna be watching Runaway next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, the basement is going dark.